Bell, whenever there was a hit, or he had a part eight. Part eight. No, that was in Bull Durham. That was one they'd get. No, when the Bulls were on the road, though, too. Somebody right. would be on the phone doing the game for him, though, too, and he'd be doing it from like a radio booth or something. Right. And he had two sticks that clicked together. Yeah, for the bad hitting and, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Yep. Hey, bro, hey there's, there's amazing things that go on behind the microphone. Part that you don't, eight. That you don't Part know how, eight. How radio happens. Yeah. Connor and I don't do any of that stuff because we just get excited and yell, but hey, everybody hey, else may actually do some of that stuff. Hey, one tip that I learned from Dwight Douglas, and I've carried on for years, <laughs> though, too, is. As you're calling play by play, I have my microphone up <laughs> for a reason. I got be- I learned that trick yes. very fast. Yes, and it works well. And I, I try to I try I try to keep talking. Unfortunately, when I do get really excited and I, and I talk, then I try to break and let you come in so that I can catch my breath. Yes. Last week was an exciting game. I think, oh, Grayson Porter. I think that was a good broadcast. That was fun. Finally, 23 games in a row, the losing 22 games in a row, the streak ends. Yep. And finally, all those road trips to everywhere in Arkansas paid off. And it was one of those games that kept us involved in the whole game. Yes! The, and and I'll, I've also got to credit both coaches, Lance Castleman and... Uh, the coach of Dirks. Coach of Dirks, I just lost his name. Uh, I've got the boots, guy. I'll have to pull it out. Both, both, both teams... Were well coached the entire game, and I've and got to credit the, the coaching staff at Derrick's mm-hmm. because what Jared Fannin. Jared Fannin. What, what Coach Fannin did in the third quarter was exactly the right call. Yes, it was exactly the right call. Take the momentum away from Horatio. Horatio, go ground and pound, ground it out, a few yards at a time. Keep making first downs. Take the ball out of their offense. Just bring the the whole game down to a dull. Boring lull, pace. start putting some points in, get up ahead. Horatio can't come back. That was the perfect call. Oh, yeah. Strategic that call. wishbone flexbone yeah. offense is yes. fun to watch, and they do it so yes. well. And he went into a straight, he went into a straight wishbone ground pound. It was, it was a perfect call, and he dominated the third quarter with that offense. I mean, he, he retained possession the entire first half of the third quarter. I mean, it was, it was brilliant, but. The amazing thing was about that was when, whenever uh, Derek still had the ball, he got deep in on the territory, started trying to punch out. Everybody in the press box, not just us, but the other radio announcers and, and the spotters and everybody in the press box, I heard the comment from two or three people, wow, they just let down. Look at that. You could see the Derek's players just physically hit the wall. Yeah. And the very next play. They fumbled. They, tur- they fumbled. They turned it over. Now, what – and maybe it is a conditioning issue because the wall is a real thing in terms of conditioning. Oh, yes. And it could just be a, a mental letdown that it's, you saw. And it happens. Yeah, yeah, sure. It can happen to anybody. And for the and second game of the year, you're still trying to kind of find yourselves. Sure. It happens. But Horatio did not let down. They were no. right on top of the turnover. Whenever they were well conditioned. They yeah. looked like they a were. football team. They were. They were well conditioned. I think they were well mentally prepared. And, yeah, when they got the ball in that turnover, you knew they were taking it. Two years ago when we first did Horatio, though, too, that was one of the biggest things was, though, too, because we always talked about what if the job was open, who who could we see down there that we knew. And the first two games that popped on our list was Lance and Cody, Alexander. Yeah. Those two were there. Right. And I remember right after he got the job, I remember posting on Facebook, I shared the story and I posted and it says, this guy will win at Horatio. He know, he'll win there right. one way or another. Yeah, he had. Yeah, he, he got on the ground late, so he really did not have time to do to anything. Coach and implement and build his relationships that he needed with his team. But yeah, now coming into this season, yeah, Lance has had a full off season, full off season to prepare. Uh, he got his uh, he got his uh, skill players in mm-hmm. in some good camps. Yes, we heard from several folks that went to camps with him. Man, you know Horatio had some good camps. Uh, and you, maybe that's where that's where he really started to develop uh, Grayson Porter. Yeah, some of those camps and getting getting some time with him like that. I mean, 